drummers, bass players, tambourine extraordinaires, maraca shakers. <laughs> Welcome to session five of Get Over the Hump, a songwriter's toolkit, melody and harmony, non-fat. And today we're going to, last session we talked about harmony and today we're going to talk some more about harmony. It's a big subject. Um, like all the other ones, they're, they're all big subjects. Anyway, so the last session we talked about building chords in a major scale. So uh, we have, here's our major scale, okay, and our minor, and we built chords off each one of these. We had the one chord, the, the was the most important chord, and in minor, Everything is still holds true. It's all the same, except we have accidentals, flats, and things like that that we need to take into consideration, which kind of changes things a little bit. But it's all basically the one chord still is the most important chord. Uh, the five chord is the number two most important chord, and the three chord, and that sort of thing. So we have the one chord, second most important chord was a five, and then the two and the four chord, and then we had the three chord, the six, the seventh chord, which is our diminished chord. Um, now, in the and in major, one is always one chord is always minor. The minor two chord is always minor. The three chord is always minor. The four chord is major. The five chord is dominant, meaning dominant means. For a quick explanation, is that it has a major third and a flat seven, okay. And you will understand that more as we progress. Six is a minor chord, seven is a diminished chord. And that's the way it is in major. Now in minor, in C minor, we have in C that there's three minor types of minor, and I'm only going to concern ourselves with natural minor and harmonic minor. Uh, so in natural minor is three flats, okay? And so E flat, uh, the third is flatted, um, the six A flat and B flat. Those are your three flats right there, okay? So, the and, and when we're harmonizing uh, the minor scale, this B flat, well, let me explain something. Um, this is kind of difficult. So, here's the one chord, okay? There is a one chord in minor, which is basically has a flat third and a natural seven. Instead of being B flat, here it is, C minor. We've heard that chord, right? That is, it's got that major seven. So we have a, a, a root, a flat third, a fifth, and B natural. This B natural right here, okay? Not this, but, but, a, but a B natural. And that's where the harmonic minor comes in, because harmonic minor has a natural uh, seventh degree as opposed to a flat seventh degree. The B flat comes in when you do like, G7 plus 9, which is later on, we'll get into that. So, <clears throat> the same, so that's that's the one chord in minor. The five chord in minor is G, again, B natural, because it needs, this is G7, it's not G minor 7, so we need a major third, right? So, there's a B natural, D, and F is our five, and that's G7 is, is in uh, in minor. To move it one step further, if we put a 9 on there, it's going to be an A flat because we have A flat in our key signature, right? So it's going to be, instead of just, here's a G7, right? In a, a 5 chord in major, if you add the 9, is all the white notes, right? So that, that there it is. But in minor, we have an A flat to contend with. So... 
that's where we get the G. You see those chord symbols that say G7 uh, flat 9. Well, those five chords are fives in minor. Okay? Um, so here we have a root, five, and then on the uh, fifth, seventh, and the flat 9, okay, we got an A flat in our key signature. We're going to natural this B because it's got to have a major third, right? Or else it's major th dominants have a major third. That's where this B natural comes in. And notice that we have our B natural in our one chord, see, for the same reason, okay? To, it's basically when we're harmonizing in, in a minor scale, in a minor key, we're basically harmonizing to the, the harmonic minor scale, not so much the um, natural minor scale, uh, until we get into our upper extensions like our plus and flat nines and those types of things. Okay, so again our third most important chord is the two chord, right? So here's a, here's a two chord off the second degree of the scale, so it's D, F, A flat, and C is the seventh of that chord. So this two chord in a major scale, that's all the white notes, so it's just D minor, right? It's just D minor. There it is, a D minor, seven chord. But since we have this A flat in our key signature, we have to make this an A flat, so now we have a flat five. So instead of this, we have this. See? And that A flat, is also our flat nine in the in 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 G, right? G seven flat nine. See? I know I'm throwing a lot of stuff at you. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's how that works. So our three chord is going to be, in this case, is going to be E flat major seventh. Okay, so that's going to be an E flat major seven. See, in the in the in the major scale, the three the chord built off the third degree was a minor. Well, in this case, it's a major, and the same with oh, there's the A timer. <laughs> uh, off the four in a major scale, it's major, right? It's an F major. Well, since we have this A flat to contend with, it's minor. So the four chord is minor now. So the one chord is minor with a major seventh. The two chord is minor with a flat five. The three chord is E flat major. The four chord is an F minor, trying to, you know, because of our accidentals, the A flat, G7. Okay. Six, our sixth chord, let's finish this up is going to be an A flat, major seventh, and then our seventh degree is going to be, what is that? I don't even look at that. I, I it's a whole, this, this really, for, for harmonizing purposes, needs to be, like I said, a B natural. So, typically what happens there you, again, we have the diminished, just like we did before. Because um, we have D, F, and these are two minor third intervals. Minor third interval, minor third interval. Two minor third intervals together always makes it diminished. So if you go full diminished, really what happens is this is the top end at an A flat up here for you to extend the chord. This here is just the top end of this G chord of the G's. So here's B, B diminished with B in the bass. If I change that to keep the right hand exactly the same, B, D, F, A flat, put a G in the bottom, it's five. Five, one, two, five, one. In minor. And there you have it. I know it's a lot. Look at all those notes. Anyway, Next week, uh, the next session will continue on and we're going to move on to, we're going to talk about extended harmony, adding up to six notes to the chord. So you have one, two, three, four. There's a C minor with six notes. 
in seven notes. Anyway, we're going to get into that and show you how far long, how far you can you can take it. So anyway, until then, always love hearing from you. Check out the new book, Get Over the Hump, the Songwriter's Toolkit. It's on the website. Here's the email address right here, Fred at FredStickleyMusic.com, uh, and shoot me an email. I love hearing from everybody. And uh, until the next time, thanks for stopping by.